Okay. It looks pretty clear from here. Watch out below. This is certainly. Murray. Okay, we don't have much time. Looks like I've tracked you down. Really far down, actually. Ooh, it's beautiful. Ah. It's shiny. shouldn't have stuck the key in there so hard. I'm not superstitious, but I've seen one too many angry ghosts. I better split. Okay. <clears throat> Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret... <laughs> is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes. It will be! Are we lying in wait or just waiting? Hey, Murray, anything on the horizon? Only your eventual ultimate obliteration. See anything yet? The future, the past, the terrible, terrible present. I'm not even mortal and I'm feeling the minutes tick away. Comfy? When is my lunch break as mandated by the Figureheads Guild? Did you just make that up? A good guild starts with an idea. Weirdly, this island seems even smaller now that there's no one here. there. You leave a bit of a trail sometimes. Love you. You too. I hear these can help prevent scurvy. You heard right. lady found me out. She came here and roughed me up. Took away my golden key. Oh, no. I know when I'm beat. 
I'm giving up on the secret. You ought to get out, too. Thanks for the warning. Are you okay? Only my spirit is crushed. The rest of me will heal. I think I may have found your key. That's good. You be the caretaker now. I don't need the danger. I've got four golden keys. Good for you. But you be careful. Remind me again what you know about where the golden keys might be? Well, the mean little ghost lady got mine. Old Mrs. Smith had one. Uh, I guess she'll have willed it to someone in her estate. There's the one Bella Fisher had. Must be at the bottom of the ocean now. One somewhere on Bermuda. And one on Terror Island. Not much chance to collect them all, so it seems. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your key. I hope your luck is better. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. This is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me. It seems to be stuck closed. Welcome back. Hiya. Hello again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did, mainly when she was older. Have you heard of the Golden Keys? Sure. My mother had one of them. Had? She left it to me in her will. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. That old thing? Really? I'll cut you in for a 20% share of the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not even sure how that would work. Listen, if it means that much to you, just take it. Yes! It was surprisingly easy and uncomplicated. Don't get used to it. Life's not like that very often. Threepwood has all the keys! That's right, Captain. Just recovered the last one. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can't say the same for you, however. Aw, you're betraying me? I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. Okay. Yeah, uh, sheer worry. Is she still here? Nope. Okay. One. Two. Three. What's the catch? Easier than I imagined. Still beautiful. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. This seems like overkill. 
Well, uh, there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. I didn't have one of those. Or that. It's not a problem, I choose to see it as a puzzle. This is not a problem? The key is probably somewhere obvious. Three points! Ah. Look, Chuck, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end, with just you and me and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Three Pward. But force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute. Outside that door, the deal is off. Don't even think about following me, and count to a hundred before you leave the building. A hundred. <coughs> Guybrush! Whiteybone said she saw you come in. Are you alright? No. I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? The truck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. That did seem like a better way to get here than making the potion. I'll definitely have to take notes next time. Yes, I just hope it turns out to be worth all the effort. What effort? That was easy. I'm not talking about the trip over. I mean all the work you've done leading up to it. Not to mention the trail of destruction you've left in your wake. You know what they say about omelets and eggs. Well, I haven't seen the omelet yet. Just a lot of eggs. The omelet is the secret of Monkey Island. I don't know that I'd say lots of eggs. A few eggs. Odina told me an exciting story about what happened on Bermuda. Apparently, you managed to destroy a priceless traditional artifact and the government of an entire island in five minutes flat. It's quite impressive, even for you. It took way more than five minutes. I had to win a bunch of contests first. Yes, Odina told me your joke. Bernie! Quite funny. Odina also thinks you cheated on your algebra test and tried to poison her. Uh, it wasn't poison, just hot pepper. It wasn't poison, it was just hot pepper. She was fine an hour later. I did have to convince her not to file suit. You owe me one. I appreciate that. Incidentally, I think you might also be royalty now, since you're married to me. I thought something felt different this morning. But I was talking about breaking eggs. Did you know the Museum of Pirate Law has shut down? You don't say. Its prize exhibit went missing. Curiously, there was only one name in the guest book. I needed a disguise. It was the only way I could get aboard the Chuck ship. The guy doesn't like me for some reason. Go figure. Herman Toothrot is also a little upset with you. He says you took his key and left him in a dark cave. <laughs> the magic sign only works with one person, and I didn't have any way to know that in advance. Well, you'll be happy to know he made it out. I rescued him myself. I am happy to know that. Thanks. Remind me why we're talking about all this? It's just, I'm worried that the secret can't possibly measure up to the effort and anticipation. What exactly are you expecting to find? 
Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. That's why it's so important that I find it. Well, be careful what you wish for. Here we go. Just like old times. Are you ready for the caverns? Um, I remember them. Full of lava and tiny ledges. It's a good thing you're wearing your adventure boots. Hope you also brought your adventure sword. Well, well. You go on ahead, sweetie. I'll catch up. Okay. Hey. Hey, Wally. How's it hanging? Seriously, that's the joke you were going to use right now? Yeah, I'm trying out some new material. Don't quit your day job. <laughs> Wally, what happened? As if you don't know. How did you end up here? I saw your office had been ransacked. LeChuck came into the shop storming mad because he thought I gave him a mop map instead of a map to the secret. Yeah, real head scratcher how that happened. Thanks for the C-Map. That was really great, and I owe you for all the work you did for free. Glad you liked it. That mop map you made for me was a winner. Oh yeah, that's right. I did make you a mop map. Wait, it's all starting to make sense now. Why is it that every time our paths cross, good old Wally is kidnapped or tormented or worse? The mysteries of how the universe works may never be known. I wish I could get you out of those shackles. You and me both. Hmm. Yeah, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get the secret before LeChuck does. Sure. Run off. Wally will be fine. Uh, um. It's a bit late in the game for that. Oh. <laughs> Yes, we're going this way. Blombe, you're awake. Not for long. I'm just here to tell you that you are making a mistake. The Chuck's obsession consumes him like a frog swallowing a tarantula. You don't want to be there when he opens that chest. Correct. I want to be there before he opens it. Ugh, you two deserve each other. Yeah, that's right. Run! Okay, we're gonna get multiple reasoning for why this is it. I can't really see down there too well. There's a lot of lava. Okay, here goes. Chuck, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Damn you, Three Wood. I should have gotten rid of you the first 58 times I had the chance. You will never make it down here alive. Just once, I want this to be easy. Okay. You should have a letter opener like this. Only the organized pirate will pass. Huh. It's holding a mug. Not usable as an actual spyglass due to its being a solid chunk of stone. Can I use that with Nope, okay. I can relate. You could tile a bathroom if you had enough of these. And 
pebble. It looks like a piece of eight, but made of stone. Oh, I see. Uh, crackers. Um. That was a good guess. Lachuk! The secret will never be yours! I hate solving puzzles more than I hate Streepwood! The secret will never be yours! Threepwood! Won't you ever give up and just go home? Okay. Once is a coincidence. Only the unfair pirate will pass. Okay. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. Okay. The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first swap. It's one of those stone pieces of eight. Okay. It's one of those stone pieces of eight. So let's try using that on. is mine! You really do suck at puzzles, don't you? How are you still alive? You will never have the secret. I will soon have my revenge. Then you will forever be cursed. And you will never escape. You will vanish with no tails. No, I will return. Third time, be a charm, three weed. Okay. Next time, I keep my voice down. Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. Okay, check if there's anything else. Nope. It looks like its arm is hurt. Nothing else in here. It looks like its leg is hurt. This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. There's no way I'm getting through there. Okay. That's the collapse. There's no way I'm getting through there. It looks like its arm is hurt. Okay.
it looks like its leg is hurt. What's the clue? Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. We can climb back up. Let's take these. Can I? Oh. didn't seem to do anything. This is going to be a problem. Ooh. Fill the muck. That's not good. So long, Captain Madison. This is like one of those mystery stories where the person has so many enemies, the detectives don't know where to start. One of the stone slabs from the altar seems to have fallen off during the rumbling. There's some writing on it. A vicious first mate from Verdun wore his hair on the top in a bun. His lips were too thin and as flat as his chin, and he keelhauled his crewmates for fun from the Complete Book of Pirate Limericks, published in 1534. After all I've been through, finding some limericks on a piece of stone sinking into the lava isn't all that strange. So long, Captain Madison. Okay. So. A vicious first mate from Verdun wore his hair on the top in a bun. Bum. His lips were too thin and as flat as his chin, and he keelhauled his crewmates for fun. From the Complete Book of Pirate Limericks, published in 1534. Um. Oh, what's the day. A vicious first mate from Verdun okay. wore his hair on the top in a bun. His lips were too thin and as flat as his chin, and he keelhauled his crewmates for fun. From the Complete Book of Pirate Limericks, published in 1534. 1534. just deep in the mushroom and lava ridden caves under Monkey Island and now I'm oh no not yet score free popcorn 
Okay. High Street, 20 feet. Hall of Pirates, three minute walk. Additional restrooms at Dinky Island. Okay, this is looking staged. Score! Free popcorn! Glad you finally made it, kid. What, Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What do you mean it's closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Guybrush, are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. Okay. Dang, Stan makes the chuck better every time. The secret is mine. Each time I come here, Stan really ups the challenge. But it's still LeChuck zero, Guybrush Threepwood six. The secret is mine. Nice twist adding in Madison, Trent, and Lila. The team up had me fooled for a while. The secret is mine. Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. Yeah, I should have suspected Stan's involvement the minute I saw how cheap and gaudy this is. Dag nabbit, it's locked. If only there was a key. This key doesn't fit. Okay. The switch is locked. Okay. Get me out of here. The switch is locked. Boom. They'll have fishing lures just like yours. Okay. Elaine, thank goodness you're here. Of course. Where else would I be? I'm not sure where I am all of a sudden. You're right here with me. But we shouldn't stick around too long. I was just underground on Monkey Island, and now we're on Melee? Things just go by in a blur sometimes when you're having fun, don't they? How'd it go with Flair? Let's just say I made my point. How did you get here before me? You know I always try to stay a step ahead. Have you done something new with your hair? Got ruffled in the fight. I like it. I'm ready to go. Good. Me too. sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2 really silly. That's different. We're kids and we're just goofing around. You're the one who said you can't just change things. <clears throat> you said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret. You have to tell me what it was. Um, it was really the friends made along the way. There we go. The secret was really the friends we made along the way. Stories are mainly the middle part, after all. And that's where most of the good stuff is. That sounds like one of those stupid grown-up answers. Mom! Dad won't tell me what the secret is! Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that one. <laughs> Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. Yay! I found the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'll meet you down there. So yeah, that was Return to the Secret of Monkey Island, where the secret was there was in a theme park attraction all the time. Probably not the conclusion a lot of people wanted, but apparently it's actually the original intention of the game. Um, that was what the Secret of Monkey Island was actually going to be. So it's kind of nice that they went back to the original idea and um, actually fulfilled their original plan for the entire storyline. Oh, you can definitely sort of see the old humour and the story writing in this. Um, I think the puzzles were a lot more logical, which I'm quite happy with. I wonder if there'd be an end cut scene to this. But yeah, nice hearing Guybrush Threepwood's voice again. Oh, <clears throat> glad I did this. Um, I will probably get back on to um, the rest of the Monkey Island games in the future. Because uh, I'm going to make this entire like point and click adventure thing a uh, regular mainstay of my channel, I'm hoping. I already have the stuff ready for the next one that I'm going to do on the point and clicks. But it won't be uh, a LucasArts one. Um, going to be another one that I started a long time ago. And um, it'd be nice to see the end of that one. But yeah, I enjoyed this. It made me smile, it made me chuckle, which at the end of the day is probably the important thing. Uh. So yeah, I'm glad that I played it. Um, it got sort of slammed for its art style, but I didn't find it too distracting. I quite enjoyed um, the way it's presented. Not much else I can really say. It'd be interesting to like do the other uh, games in this and see where the game went, well the game series went, when it went in a different direction to see how they do the story and see if I prefer this entire idea of it's one, two, and then this compared to the alternate timeline. I think a way of calling it would be sensible. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this and look forward to more point and click adventuring.
Something new to the scrapbook. Hey, want to see my mighty pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. Uh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, Chuck was behind it, of course. This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. Oh man. This was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. 
Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. These are from the time I found the secret of Monkey Island. Serving on LeChuck's ship was an interesting experience. The actual return to Monkey Island was not what I expected. It was a race to get to the secret first. We chased LeChuck back to Monkey Island again, and I tracked him down. Wait, what's this? Development won't start for another month or so, but we've been thinking about this for a while. It seems like a good time to jot down a few thoughts and then slash them away as a sort of time capsule message to our future selves about what we're setting out to do with Return to Monkey Island. Who knows, we might be something. We might learn something. Monkey Island has historically been a reflection of the lives of the people who made the games. The secret of Monkey Island was about a young person setting out a purpose and an exciting new career. As designers in our 20s, that is what we all were. The sequel, LeChuck's Revenge, was in many ways about the difficulties of making a sequel, or at least about what one does immediately after something that felt like a great success but which went unnoticed by most of the world at large. Many years later, 20, after Guybrush had gone on a couple of adventures with other teams who had had their own hopes and challenges, we set out to make Tales of Monkey Island as a story about trust and it is, but what jumps out the most of us is what feels like a story about grown-ups because that's what we were, many of us in our 40s by then, with children and lives and a lumpy, encrusted layer of experience. We were well into our 50s now. We've had lengthy careers, we've made a lot of games, but Monkey Island still defines us uh, to a certain degree, or at least in the middle of our minds. For many, we are those guys who made that game a long time ago. And it feels like there are some unfinished business out there. When with the opportunity arose to come back to Monkey Island, we were pretty much on the same page as what we wanted to do. Guybrush, like us, is older now. And he's had a long, reasonably successful career, but he's mostly associated with something that happened a long time ago. And that feels unfinished to him. The game is a goofy pirate adventure, the same as always, but it's also a story about trying to recapture the past with all its alleged uh, youthful strength and glory. Guybrush will both succeed and fail at this. He will sort out, uh, sort of get what he wants, but it won't be what he expects. I predict the same for us. Note to self, get more paper for the rest of my adventures. <laughs>